Hey y'all. Oh boy. Okay. So I don't even know where to start with this video. So today is going to be all about our house journey and how we got to where we are now. Um, it's been going on like a three year process at this point. So let me just quickly break it down and then we'll get into the nitty gritty. So if you follow me over on social media, Instagram or Facebook, then you already know that, um, so my husband and I had uh, started a complete gut and remodel of my childhood home, our, our farmhouse, and we just recently had to tear it down and basically destroy it. Um, and now we're starting over and building new. But that's just not the beginning and end of it. It's been a long journey to get us here. So I just wanted to sit down and make this video just because I share my life with you guys anyway. So I just kind of wanted to share what's been going on kind of behind the scenes of the last three years. And if you're curious, you don't even want to, you know, care about any of this. At the end of this, I'm going to share, I did a walkthrough of the initial farmhouse. Um, I filmed some demo videos. Um, and then at the very end, I'm going to try to upload, we did a time lapse of the actual demo and the house going up in flames. If you're curious, <laughs> cannot believe that even came out of my mouth. Okay, so backtrack to three years ago. So um, when I found out I was pregnant with our daughter, um, that was about three years ago, my husband and I decided that we were going to sell our current home and, or our current home then, and we were going to sell and move back to the farm. I was born and raised on a farm, moved away when I was older, got married obviously, and we decided to move back for a just a more simple life um, just so my daughter can have the experience of being out here on a farm and we were going to build our dream home. So at nine months pregnant we packed and moved and sold our home. At that time I went ahead and downsized a lot. We were moving from a 2,500 square feet four bed three full bath home um, in with family while we built it was supposed to only take a year to build um it sorry my animals are having a fit behind this screen stop it so nine months pregnant we do that we move in with same hey that's enough so that's kind of a what our life has been the last three years so we move and we go ahead and start the process. Long story short, the first year was horrendous. So not only could my husband and I, we could not agree on floor plans to save our life. It was like at every turn, every, I bet we went through a thousand floor plans and we could not agree on any of them. Not to mention our surveyor was taking forever. That was a complete nightmare. Then, where we intended to build our dream home and our forever home, the land wouldn't perk. So we actually called everything off. I had to process it. And then in the middle of all this, I had a newborn. I was suffering from postpartum depression. It was a lot. So I said, you know what? I can't handle this. We just need to put everything on hold. Then a few months go by, we decide, okay, we'll come back out. Our plans have kind of changed in this time frame. Then we thought, okay, we'll go ahead and build a, because we couldn't decide on a permanent home, we decided that we'll go ahead and build our detached garage, because we knew we eventually wanted that. We're going to go ahead and build our detached garage, put like an apartment above, so we were going to build a carriage house. If you hear what's going on, it is my dog and cat so sorry um they wait till now to do this so we decided we were going to go ahead and build a carriage house live there um, until we can decide on a permanent home and then build that next to our carriage house can't decide on that then we bring um septic people back out to try to get it to perk hold please okay i had to stop the fiasco happening okay so anyways, bring the guys back out to try to get the land to park in a different spot. And it just, finally, I was so frustrated. I was like, you know, it just, just 
wherever you have to dig a hole, tell us where it perks, and I guess just that's where we're going to have to put the house. It's totally not what we wanted to happen. Long story short, that whole process took over a year. In that time frame, on top of everything else, my grandmother uh, fell extremely ill, and actually the week we finally got approval from our county, perked, plats, everything squared away, and everything squared away with our county. Seriously. Um, that same week, my grandmother actually passed away. So, then we were sitting here thinking, okay, now we have her home, which is the original um, like home place, farmhouse, what are we going to do with her house? So we kind of went back and forth. Do we rent it out? Do we do, um, cause the house needed work. And so we thought, do we do just like kind of, um, a little bit of work to it, rent it out. What do we do? We like, we never thought about what would happen when she was gone. And then all of a sudden it hit us like, okay, we can't decide on our forever home we it's not perking where we want it to put where we want to put it it seems like everything is up against us we keep hitting a brick wall why don't we go ahead and renovate her home that was my, also my childhood home my mother's childhood home um so once the idea kind of sunk in we were like okay let's do this like we were both on board um we got plans drawn like now keep in mind that this is a very small home this home is about 1,300 square feet. <laughs> so imagine we're used to 2,500 square feet going down to 1,300 square feet. We were trying to make this home the best that we could and it wasn't going to check all of our boxes, but you know what? We were like, it saves this home. Um, it's gonna save us money in the long run to do the renovation. Like, let's just, let's just do it. We'll build our detached garage. So we were all in. So that's when I started filming for you guys. And that also took some time. It took some time to get all of our plans squared away. Um, everything with the county as well. Like because we're doing a complete gut and remodel. And so that whole process of truly deciding what we wanted. That took some time as well. So we're ready to get started. As y'all know I started filming for you guys. Um, the home still had furniture and everything in it. We had to get everything cleared out. We got a storage unit. We start the demo and it was just one thing after another. And we knew that we knew it was going to be a process. We knew it was going to go over our budget. We knew that things were going to come up unexpected, but it was just every single day it felt like something and we were becoming defeated again. It was like, oh my gosh, we have been going through this process for three, almost three years and we don't have a home. Like <laughs> we have just been exhausted, stressed out and it's just like, oh my gosh, what else can possibly happen? Then the day that we were supposed to actually start framing, we get a call, um, or I get a call that morning from our um, builder who's like, you know what, we just, we need to have a talk. We need to figure out the direction we're going. And so we get on the phone with my husband and we just have a honest, open conversation. He's like, look, I know you guys, I know what you want and I will do whatever you want. We can keep sinking money into this home. But at the end of the day, it's an old house. I know you want it to feel new. I know what your vision is. And I just don't think at the end of the day, you're going to be happy here. Not to mention, now we've discovered issues with the foundation that added a whole nother cost. We were already way over what we ever um, anticipated. So he was like, you know, we can keep chucking money at it. And we can get the foundation fixed, but by the time you spend all this money, it just keeps adding up and adding up. You're not going to end up with the product that you are happy with. Still going to be an older home, and I think we can pretty much build you a home um, that you're happy with. And he said, at this point, I think you're going to be better off to demolish this home and build. 
So that's what we decided. And it's so ironic that we couldn't pick a floor plan. It took us a year and we still couldn't pick a floor plan. And we already had a floor plan plans ready to go within days. We automatically agreed. We've agreed on everything from the start. Our builders designed a custom home for us that suits all of our needs. We're getting a basement now. And although the initial shock was like, I mean, it was devastating. Um, when I tell you guys that it literally felt like somebody punched me in the gut, that last video at the end of this video, when they actually took the house down and set it up in flames, it was devastating. It was traumatic. I'm not gonna lie. It was fully traumatic. That was my childhood home, my grandparents' home, my mother was raised. There. Like, it was just... I could not imagine um, what, what I was witnessing. So after a few days, once the shock initially wore off, now we're really excited, you know, just seeing our plans, picking out, you know, exterior colors. We've actually finalized everything this morning. Um, we're just, we're really excited. We're gonna start, um, I think, digging out the basement in the next few weeks. Um, so yeah, now I had planned to take you on this remodel journey. Now I'm gonna take you on a new build journey. So this is really exciting guys. So basically we're building our dream home where my childhood home once stood. And it's good, it's a good thing, it's a good thing. At the end of the day, um, this is what God had planned all along. It's so funny to look over the last three years and this was his plan. We thought his plan was to renovate. <laughs> he just keeps taking us all over the place, you guys. But now we, we get it. We get it. All of the heartache and turmoil we have gone through, we're finally, we're, we're seeing the finish line and we're seeing his plan and we couldn't be more thrilled. And I'm so excited to take you on this journey. Um, so yeah, stay tuned if you're interested to see the house that once was and what we were going to remodel and stay tuned for the new build all right guys i think that's it so here we go all right guys this is the house sorry if you hear any background noise um they've actually already started construction but i wanted to walk you all through it so you could get an idea of our vision and what we plan to do um, it will be completely different once it is finished so basically with this house um, it's actually two different houses so this section here is actually the original cabin and then when my grandparents purchased it in the 50s they added this addition here so this is actually an original cabin to the farm and basically what we're doing is we're taking well the whole roof is coming off but over this section is going to be like an a-frame and then we're going to have a covered porch coming off here this um, screened in porch is going to be completely enclosed um, and then of course all of this is going to be reconfigured so even just the roof line change up will completely change it so let me take y'all in and you can see okay so here's an up close of the cabin part when you first go in and be prepared y'all this house is old and nasty so <laughs> just keep that in the back of your mind that essentially everything is going to be new and completely gutted so this is actually going to be finished in and this is going to be like a laundry slash mudroom and it's going to have the vaulted ceilings from the a-frame and then when you go in now we have no electricity so just keep that in mind so you can tell where all the original cabin was so this was the kitchen and dining area and then we had um, always had a wood stove right there so basically this all all the walls are coming down so all of this will come down um, and I'll walk you down through there in just a second but basically so the ceilings will all be vaulted and then it will extend off the back. We're gonna have French doors over here leading out to a covered porch. Over here is still gonna be the kitchen. Obviously all this will be torn out. All of this will be removed. We'll have um, 
Kitchen cabinets extended all the way. There's just an old bathroom there. Of course, all that's going to. So, row of kitchen cabinets, we're gonna have a farmhouse sink. And then right about here will be a huge island with a cooktop. And then if you can imagine dining room here in the center. And then once all this comes out, this will be like our living area. So this is the old living room. There's the front door there, right there. It will be located to about right there. So essentially there will be a hall running this way when you come in and a bathroom will be right here. I'll take out back around to the other side. Okay, so basically this runs a hallway now, um, but again, everything's coming out. So this part will essentially be opened up and be our living area. Then there will be a door right about here where you can walk into um, another bedroom. And then all this back area, right now it's three bedrooms, three very tiny bedrooms. Um, we are obviously reconfiguring everything to make it two very large bedrooms and two full baths. There's into the living room there. So front door will probably be right about there. And so then essentially when you come down this hallway, all of these bedrooms will be removed. This whole back area will be our master bedroom. There's another bathroom here. And this was actually my bathroom growing up. And this was actually my bedroom. Can y'all even imagine? So this room will essentially be our master bathroom. So this whole space will be a master bathroom with um, a seven foot vanity, a, a walk-in shower, um, toilet here, and then we'll have um, a walk-in closet right about here, probably taking up the space of this current bathroom. Then this will be our bedroom, obviously extended, bumped out into this space, um, but this was my grandparents' room. And then just a couple linen closets, another bedroom here. And this whole space. Um, so what my grandparents used this for, this was the living area. And then back here, um, we had like a desk right here, um, a china cabinet there. This was just kind of like our overflow room. I used this a lot as like my play area back in here. That's the floor creaking. And then this back door basically leads to nothing. <laughs> There's the backyard. So I'll take you back through here. And there you go, back into the original cabin part. So this is actually the back of the house. Um, fun fact. My dad actually built this um, deck, but all that is getting removed. So you can see the back there. So the A-frame will extend like all the way back here, and then a covered porch will run the length probably um, to somewhere about there. Okay, so demo day one is complete. You can see all the way um, through the back of the house. 
Um, they've really just started kind of back in the bedrooms and we had no clue what was under the carpet. So this is what was once the living room area. You can see that was a bedroom and then that was a bedroom all the way in the back there. But, so this was, um, I guess the subfloor, but then, oh, freaky subfloor. But then under the carpet back here and all through here is like some kind of laminate tile. It's really bizarre, not quite sure. So that was a surprise. Okay, we're on day two of demo. So obviously it really looks a lot different. It's obviously no electricity, so bear with me. So this was the old cabin spot. You can see all the wood walls have come down. Um, all the kitchen cabinets are out. And the biggest thing is the ceiling um, has started to come down. Got this back room cleaned out as well. So I'll just take y'all through. So you can pretty much see all the way to the back of the house now. So into what was the living room. So now that it's opened up, you can really see how much space. And again, ceilings come down. All the bathrooms have been torn out. Actually, I take that back. Just this bathroom is torn out. The kitchen bathroom is still there. But this house did have three fireplaces, two of which were actually covered up. Um, and all of them are leaking. So you can see there was one there. And then, of course, you've got this one in the center here that was for the main cabin when it was originally built. And then there was another one behind a wall in the kitchen. So that's it for day two of demo. Okay, I'm just going to take you through the inside really quick. As you can tell, I started taking out this front porch. Not a lot has changed on the inside. They've just finished tearing down the walls. So you can see there was the main fireplace there. That started to come down. Still need to take this chimney down. Um, they've taken out, there was a bathroom in this corner here. This was like a, um, a coat closet and there was a bathroom back behind it. Kitchen was over here, so all that is gone. So now you can see all the way to the back of the house. Okay, we're still on demo. I honestly don't know what day demo we're on because rain held us up. But you can see, so there was a front porch here that's gone. The sidewalks are gone. Um, pretty much the house is opened up. The next step is they're actually gonna remove all this um, wood siding and take the roof off this section of the house. Um, but they did get like the footers poured for our front and back porches. Okay, everybody, this is probably the biggest transformation we've seen yet. So the roof is gone, the front porch is totally gone. Um, so we're gonna start putting on the new A-frame roof um, and then they'll go in and remove the rest of the siding and start working on this side. But I'll just give you a closer look. So really looking different now.